Tears in Rain is the final monologue of the Ridley Scott film Blade Runner, delivered by the replicant Roy Batty, portrayed by Rutger Hauer. The final form, altered from the scripted lines and much improvised by Hauer on the eve of filming, has entered popular culture as perhaps the most moving death soliloquy in cinematic history, and is an often quoted piece of science fiction writing. Script and Improvisation In Blade Runner, the dying replicant Roy Batty makes this speech to Harrison Ford's character Deckard moments after saving him from falling off a tall building. Deckard had been tasked to kill him and his replicant friends. The words are spoken during a rain downpour, moments before Batty's death. I have a Euro seen things you people wouldn't believe a Euro attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tanha currency user gate. All those a Euro moments a Euro will be lost in time, like, small cough tears a Euro and a Euro rain. To me a Euro to de Euro. In the Channel 4 documentary on the edge of Blade Runner, Hauer, director Ridley Scott, and screenwriter David Peoples asserted that Hauer wrote the Tears in Rain speech. There were earlier versions of the speech in Peoples' draft screenplays. One included the sentence I wrote on the back decks of a blinker and watched sea beams glitter in the dark, near the Tannhauser Gate in his autobiography, Hauer said he merely cut the original scripted speech by several lines, adding only all those moments will be lost in time, like Tears in Rain although the original script, displayed during the documentary, before Howard's rewrite, does not mention Tanha currency user gate. I have known adventures, seen places you people will never see, I've been off world and back a Euro frontiers. I've stood on the back deck of a blinker bound for the Plutitian camps with sweat in my eyes watching the stars fight on the shoulder of Orin a Euro I've felt wind in my hair, riding test boats off the black galaxies and seen an attack fleet burn like a match and disappear. I've seen it, felt eat the Euro. Howard described this as opera talk, and high-tech speech with no bearing on the rest of the film, so he put a knife in it the night before filming, without Scott's knowledge. In interview with Dan Jolin, Howard said that these final lines showed that Batty wanted to make his mark on existence a Euro the replicant in the final scene, by dying, shows Deckard what a real man is made of. When Howard performed the scene, the film crew applauded and some even cried. This was due to the power of the dying speech combined with coming to the end of an exhausting shoot. Critical reception, Sidney Perkowitz, writing in Hollywood Science, praised the speech, if there's a great speech in science fiction cinema, it's Batty's final words a Euro. He says that it underlines the replicant's human-like characteristics mixed with its artificial capabilities. Jason Best, writing in Future Imperfect, Philip K. Dick at the movies, praised the delivery of the speech, Howard's deft performance is heartbreaking in its gentle evocation of the memories, experiences, and passions that have driven Batty's short life. Tannhauser Gate, Tannhauser Gate, Tanha Currency User Gate and Tannhauser Gate are variant spellings of this unexplained place name which is used only once in the film. It has since been reused in other science fiction subgenres, in popular music and critically reviewed. The name probably derives from Richard Wagner's operatic adaption of the legend of the medieval German knight and poet Tanha currency user. Joanne Taylor, in an article discussing film noir and its epistemology, remarks on the relation between Wagner's opera and Batty's reference, and suggests that Batty aligns himself with Wagner's Tanha currency user, a character who has fallen from grace with men and with God. Both, she claims are characters whose fate is beyond their own control. References in other media, a reference to Tanha currency user gate in Soldier Links that film to Blade Runner. The Ballad of Roy Batty by British neo-psychedelia duo Grumbling Fur on their album Glynistra uses the monologue as repeated lyrics throughout the song. The video game Homeworld contains a level involving a hyperspace gate called Tannhauser Gate. The Berlin-based techno label Dystopian will release a compilation in November 2014 referencing this soliloquy. References, Notes